The female main character, Ember, is a fire being, while the male character, Wade, is a water being. You can only imagine what it will be like for these two to love each other. A single drop from Wade's hand is enough to make Ember recoil in pain. So what future could these two possibly have? It will certainly be interesting to see how they learn, grow, and eventually find a way to be together. What is the movie synopsis? The film journeys alongside an unlikely pair, Ember and Wade, in a city where fire, water, land, and air residents live together. The fiery young woman and the go-with-the-flow guy are about to discover something elemental. How much they actually have in common. Wade and Ember live in Element City, a populated New York-esque city that is connected by bridges. where the different elements live together, but they might be more divided than they appear. Many of the people in Element City live in imposing towers built to suit the nature of their elements. These beings are very different, but they manage to share their town quite nicely. Air beings live in homes that are powered by windmills, while lush greenery covers the buildings of land beings. In the safety of their homes, the land beings are free to grow their children and nurture them, but from time to time they have to leave, and when they do, they just might carry their babies with them. The trailer shows a land being with four potted babies that sprout up and immediately start crying. The parent land being sighs already knowing that they have their work cut out for them. In this world, water beings can travel by water slide, which is both weird and completely understandable. Many fans have raised questions about the train that Ember enters in the trailer. The train is floating on a pool of water that serves as train tracks. It's safe to say that not all water in Element City is a person. Do fire beings get isolated? The strange part of the seemingly peaceful and united city is that the fire beings live on the other side of the bridge. The house of the fire beings are modest and expectedly cozy, 